Hello there. In this particular lecture, we are going to learn about how to handle events in React.js. Well, event allow us to make app interactive. For example, handling the button clicks, typing in input field, submitting forms, all these are the kind of events, right? And in React.js, handling event is very similar to the HTML, like the way we do in the HTML. But there are some key and conceptual difference which we need to understand. So let's go to our Visual Studio code and understand that how do we handle the event in React.js. Let's start. So there are different type of events in React like on click, on change, on submit, on mouse over, on key down and there are several more but these are the five most important which we normally use like on click is for the button click, on change is for the input change, you use on submit for the form submissions and mouse over for any hover effect right so these kind of things uh, that we use so let's uh, learn each and everything one by one with the help of the examples right so uh, we are on our app.jsx file and inside this let's do one thing let's create a button and the button says click on me right and let's give a quite little css to it uh, let's say that uh, padding in x direction will be 5 vw and padding in y direction will be 3 vw and the pg let's give a background color also that is red and 100 right so let's uh, go to our website and see that how it is looking so yeah it is looking like this okay it's become too much big what i did wrong Okay, I give VW and uh, I think that's the problem. So let's give it 50 pixel and let's give it 30 pixel. Okay, now uh, it is actually small and it is on the top, right? So yeah, uh, our CSS part is done. Now let's do one thing that uh, let's create a function. Let's create a function which is named a uh, function handle click and now here let's write alert alert and alert says you click me right yeah now uh, I want a event such that when I click on this particular button I want this particular function to initiate to be call out for that what we have to do very simple you just need to write on click just write on click and then there will be a curly bracket right and inside of it you just write the name of the function which you want to call right i have written the handle click now the handle click function is now being called right so this is how you use it now if i go to my okay there is some mistake i guess what is happening okay 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 sorry so uh, there should be a function and it should be just const not the function because we are using an arrow function right yeah so now if you go and click on this button you can see I'm getting an alert this event occurred why because we are using an event handler that is on click so this is for your button right uh, now let's go to our second which is on change uh, it is also very similar like uh, let's say uh, I'll create an input field here input field uh, I'm going to give a little bit of CSS to it like BG let's say yellow 400 and border Let's give a border two and border white, right? Let's go to our Visual Studio Code. You can see I'm having a input field, right? Yeah. Now after putting this, I want that uh, every time I uh, write something inside this particular input field, I want this to get shown on my console. I want this particular event to occur, right? 
so i want that whenever i write something here i want the thing to be get written here also so for that what we need to do we can create a function first that is uh, let's say uh, let's create a function which is handle the input right so const handle input okay and here inside of it i'm going to write console dot lock and when you uh, use the input field right so basically while working with the event you simply just need to write the events here it will show that changes whatever the thing which is happening inside the input field get installed inside this event right so for printing uh, the values for that we need to write event then you have to write a target dot target and then write the value like this and for assigning it with the input field you simply need to write what on change right on at whenever the value of the input field get changed this particular function needs to be called so we will write the function name inside of it that is handle input now if you go to the console uh, just simply reload it and now if i write anything like fuse you can see on every time a new letter is getting written right this particular function is running and the after running the function the whatever the value inside the input field is getting printed inside the console right so this is how we deal with our what input field and make our handler right event handler now on summit uh, you will learn about it in the form submission when we'll run about when we'll make the video on react forms forms right and this one more thing is here which you need to understand is that on mouse over on mouse over uh, let's take an example of it also so let's see let's say that i'm having a paragraph and which is having some 100 words right and i want to put a function first that uh, const on mouse right and i want that on mouse over right if i say that even mouse enter or mouse leave anything on mouse move anything you can write so i'm going to use mouse over uh, i want this particular function to run that is on mouse which i've created on the top and here i want to say that console.log console.log in my console print mouse over the mouse over right now let's go to our console and let's just do one thing uh, now if you see if i when i take my cursor to this particular paragraph you can see i'm having this mouse over now right every time i take my mouse over on it i will get a mouse over getting printed inside of it you can see the number seven right so this is how you deal with all the events in your react.js find on key down the similar way you can try it on your own that when you uh, press the keyboard right when your keyboard press uh, then this particular event get called for that we use on key down and on summit these two are things which is as assignment or you can will learn further in our videos and this is all about today's video thank you so much for watching we will meet in the next video very soon till then goodbye and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel bye